I'm Shauna Bernard and I'm here with Global Groomers and today I'm going to give you some quick tricks and tips on American Cocker Spaniels. I know that a lot of commercial dog groomers don't like this breed. I personally love this breed so I hope that with a few tips from me that you guys can learn to love this breed as much as I do. Hi there, I'm Shauna Bernardin and I'm here with Global Groomers and this is part three of the Cocker Spaniel. So hopefully you have caught the other two episodes. What we did today is we did a Suburban on one side and we're going to do a lamb trim on this side. So she's already been bathed and blow dried. She's had her head trim. If you're interested to see those, catch episode one and two. Now I'm going to show you the lamb trim. So the difference between the Suburban, which we have on this side here where she's got the skirt still, the lamb is just the four legs, okay? So I've got it on a number nine again, and I'm gonna just shave this off. Make sure when you guys are going over the ribs that you're not going this way. You wanna get as little tracking as possible. And run it off the elbow, okay? This is a great haircut for the people that don't have time to do all the brushing and the maintenance. You can do this, they can still look super cute and still be maintainable. I'm going to go ahead and get that shaved off. Now and we have looking. the pattern clipped in with a number nine blade for the lamb. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the green attachment down her legs. And you just simply slide that on the back of your clipper and you're going to slide that over to a 40 blade. Easy girl. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shave these legs off. You can see how easily that just slides right through. It leaves a nice length, but it's also a nice commercial length. I feel like it's important that the owners are able to maintain them. So I'm gonna go ahead and scissor those up and I'll be American right back. Cocker head trims. They're very overwhelming for you guys sometimes. So hopefully I can give you a few little tricks that can help you. Uh, I'm gonna do American Cockers get a half ear shave. So we're the approximate line is to the bottom of the jaw. Okay, so I'm gonna shave that first before I do anything else. I'm gonna use on her, she has real thick hair, so I'm using a 15 with the hair. De depending on the dog that you're grooming, example, like if it was a buff American Cocker, you might go a little bit longer on the blacks, black and tans, a little bit shorter. You're gonna learn that as you kinda go. Keep the ear real flat when you're shaving and use supreme caution, okay? And then on the inside of the ear, you really wanna open that up and get that as nice and clean as you can. They are really prone to ear infections, these guys, okay? So once you have the ears done, when you guys are in school, most of you are taught to take a 10 blade real hard. I just want to make some suggestions that maybe you could change it up a little bit. American Cockers are supposed to have a nice plush little mush. So what I've decided that I've done over the years, I'm going to use a number 10 blade. And I'm going to pull the ear straight back. I want to keep the, the skin kind of tight. And I'm just going to clean right off the cheek. I'm going to just take that straight down, but I'm not taking that over her mush right now. Easy girl. Now, see how she's a bit sensitive with the clipper? Slow down right then and there. Just stop and just take that clipper and rub it on her ear and just really be quiet. And she's like accepting of it. Feel like it's really important for you guys to take your time with cockers. We'll be back and we'll finish this oh, up. Oh, the crest. Now, remember that the owner has already put a whole bunch of scissor marks in the top of the crest. So we gotta fix that, but I feel like we've got the foundation ready. I've already done all that. That's, I always do that before I ever touch the crest. So you want to imagine that the crest is in like a half moon coming to the back of the back skull, okay? Good girl. And now remember, she has a few head issues, so I always go real nice and slow with her. This little number four attachment is really, really handy. When you guys were in grooming school, everybody taught you to take a 10 blade backwards and the crest stands straight up. You wanna think of the crest as being smooth and going with the top of the skull. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tip her head down a little and I'm gonna blend those in, okay? 
and then I'm just going to take this up the side and just how it fades off the side of her crest there. And then I'm going to take it again flat. I'm always working in a little semicircle. And you can see how cute her little face is. And she is just a little commercial cocker spaniel. Okay, she's not a champion or anything like that. And the other thing is, is this dog had some serious, serious problems with her temperament when she first started coming to me. So I'm real proud of both of those things. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my thinning shears and I'm gonna work like this with this crest. I'm just gonna keep working it in a little circular fashion and I'm going to the back of the occiput. I'm going to finish this off and I'm going to come right back. Here we are at the end of our American Cocker Spaniel demonstration. I hope you guys got a little bit inspired today. I hope I gave you some good tricks for American Cockers. Uh, this is the end of the lamb. And then I'm just going to turn her around and I'm going to show you the Suburban. Okay. Both of these have been modified. On her, we used a number nine on her back. And then we used the green attachment on her legs uh if you guys are enjoying these please subscribe and share one extra little pro tip that i want to give you guys uh, she has really bad skin and just before i send them out i just take a little bit of that wall denot right here and i just this is actually a horse brush that we make with wall but it's real soft bristles so i just spray it down a little bit and i just wipe her back off and then if she has any sort of dandruff or anything it wipes right off I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I had a blast doing it. I really, really hope you guys start to enjoy American Cockers.